Welcome everyone uh, to LMI Sandler Prize's final round, or what I like to think of as UCLA's own Shark Tank. Um, so here we are, um, and it's going to be very exciting. For those who don't know me, I'm Jennifer Manukin, and I have the good luck of being dean at UCLA Law School. And I'm really pleased to welcome all of you to this final round of the 2019 Lowell Milken Institute Sandler Prize for New Entrepreneurs. This is the fourth year of this initiative, which was the vision of Lowell Milken and Richard Sandler, two of UCLA Law School's most distinguished graduates, um, and they were they're, they're, they're both incredibly committed to seeing that UCLA Law School has an absolutely top business law program, and that includes engaging with entrepreneurship and new ventures and thinking about the, the, the future. Um, the generous gift to fund this competition was made possible by the Lowell Milken Family Foundation and the Richard and Ellen Sandler Foundation, and it has really served as a springboard for the law school to embrace entrepreneurship. Um, to give a couple of examples, this year we hosted our second conference on law and entrepreneurship in Silicon Beach, and that attracted inventors, investors, lawyers, and law students looking to find a place in this exciting sector. And we also hosted a half-day workshop on blockchain and the law. But it's this competition that, gener that has definitely generated the most buzz. And that's partly measured by the size of the prizes offered. Yes, $100,000 every year, the largest entrepreneurship competition sponsored by a law school in this country, anywhere in the country. And it's also helped integrate UCLA Law School into UCLA's broader entrepreneurial ecosystem. And that's been another very exciting dimension of this as well. So here's how it works, and here's why it's terrific. Through this competition, our UCLA law students apply their legal knowledge and practice their lawyering skills with both with other UCLA law students and with peers from all across the UCLA campus. Together, they further develop new ventures, commercial and social, profit and nonprofit, that, that can potentially attract the interest of investors. Through the competition, our law students work directly with venture capitalists, business leaders, engineers, doctors, public policy makers, um, and a, just a whole variety of, of uh, people with great expertise. This was one of the goals of Richard Sandler when the idea was formed, that law students would gain skills and connections that would benefit them um, both in their careers as lawyers and well beyond. Each of this team's final round uh, participants has developed an exciting venture. And they include an inexpensive system to treat the common condition of grinding your teeth in your sleep, a more efficient way to conduct clinical trials and to help patients, a method for adopting artificial intelligence to assist managers in writing meaningful and unbiased performance reviews in the workplace, a real estate development company that tackles homelessness in Los Angeles, a service that makes it easier for harried, cash-strapped new parents to rent quality baby gear and equipment, and a skincare company that applies machine learning to create individualized skincare treatments for its customers. Now, to get this far in the competition, these are this is the last round. So the members of these teams have had to collaborate, which is, of course, an incredibly important skill in any modern venture. And they've had to create a compelling and realistic business plan for a promising product. This evening, the team's job is to persuade the judges and us in the audience that their venture is worthy of the prize. So now I'm going to briefly introduce our very distinguished panel of judges. First, Lowell Milken, who earned his UCLA law degree with the distinction of Order of the Coif and was a member of Law Review, who's an entrepreneur, international businessman, and philanthropist. Lowell has founded companies that went on to become dominant in their industries including the world's largest early childhood education company. He has seeded what have become prominent firms today in areas of venture capital and private equity. He's active in the investment and development of millions of square feet of office, industrial, and retail properties in the US and around the world. And his transformative generosity in 2011 established the Lowell Milken Institute for Business Law and Policy at UCLA School of Law and has helped to build UCLA Law School into one of the top programs in teaching business law to its students.
Going in order across the stage, next is Greg Gilman, who is an executive entrepreneur, investor, and attorney. He's the co-founder of the Science Incubator and a managing director of the Science Venture Fund in Santa Monica. Science has funded or founded more than 75 companies in its six years. And seven of those companies have been acquired for a total of more than $1.25 billion, including Dollar Shave Club. I bet some of you have been subscribers, right, at one point in time. Greg is the founder of Science Blockchain, a new incubator focused solely on blockchain businesses. So welcome, Greg. Next, I'd like to introduce Tabitha Hinman, a member of the UCLA Law Class of 1998, and she's an attorney, entrepreneur, and business advisor. Most recently, she was co-founder, general counsel, and chief business officer of Mimosa Networks, a global technology leader in fixed wireless broadband solutions. She's an experienced lawyer for and has served as the general counsel of several startups, and she's also a member of UCLA Venture Fund and the MIT Sandbox Fund. Welcome, Tabitha. And finally, I want to introduce Richard Sandler, also a member of the UCLA Law School class of 1973, and a partner in the law firm of Marin and Sandler, and the current chairman of UCLA Law's Board of Advisors, um, for which I particularly want to thank him. Richard serves as executive vice president and a trustee of the Milken Family Foundation, which funds initiatives in education, medical research, and entrepreneurship. He also sits on several nonprofit boards and has played an absolutely leading role in the Federation as well. Um, so welcome, Richard. I want to thank the judges for taking time out of their busy, busy schedules to preside over this exciting competition. Um, I want to thank all of you for being here. I also want to introduce and thank two more people, Joel Fewer, who's the executive director of the Lowell Milken Institute, and who's done enormous amounts of work toward making this competition what it is today, and Jim Park, who's the faculty director of the Lowell Milken Institute, and who also has been involved in this competition and in our business law program and in LMI more generally. So both of them have done work both in front of, both in front of the, the in back, behind the scenes and on front stage, and very much deserve our great gratitude and a round of applause. So thank you to both of them as well. But enough of this. We want to hear from the competitors, right? We want to figure out who has the venture worthy of the pri of, of prize money and further investment. I know they're all going to be really interesting and very worthy, so there are going to be tough decisions to make. Let's bring it on. Thank you, everybody. Um, we're very excited by this, and before I introduce the first team, I just want to give you a little background of the rules. Uh, each team will have a total of 20 minutes. They can spend the first 10 up to the first 10 in making their presentation, and then we throw it open to the judges, who will have at least 10 minutes to ask them questions, and then we'll move on to the next team. So our first team is Team Unify, so come on up and let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 